Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this cut crease eye look right here. So today I'm going to be using two palettes. Um, this is the Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk Palette. I got this in a recent BoxyCharm and it has like the perfect tones that I wanted to use today. It's like those really pretty um, berry tones. And then I'm going to be using the Marvelous Mauves, and then this one is from Dose of Colors. So I'm just going to go back and forth between these two palettes. This look is going to be great for people with hooded eyes, because I have hooded eyes, um, and it's really hard to get like a nice cut crease that you can actually see when your eyes are open and looking forward. So I hope you get some tips and tricks from this video, and if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so starting off, I did my eyebrows, and I actually carved them out today with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in Light Sand. I haven't used this, I feel like, in so long, and I actually never carve out, like, the bottom of my brows, but I did today, and I really like it, and then I just took the brush that I was using and just brought it down onto the eyelid. So I'm going to jump into the Marvelous Mauves, the Dose of Colors palette, and I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush like I usually do, and I'm going to take the lightest shade in this palette, this one over here, and I'm going to use like the tiniest bit of this just to set the eyelids like I always do. I don't like them to be like too tacky, so I like to go in and set them. And this shade isn't like a white shade, it's like a super, super, super light purple. So now jumping into the Ace Beauté, I think is how you say it, the Scarlet Dusk Palette. Um, I'm going to use the shade called Lotus, which is this really light pinky shade right here. And I'm just taking this on a big Morphe fluffy brush, and I'm just going to put this all up into the crease as our transition shade. And of course my eyes are watering right now, and I'm like, can you please stop? <laughs> I hate when my eyes water and I'm trying to do my eyes. It's the worst. So I'm kind of taking this up to the brow bone, but not all the way up. Just so when we do the darker colors, there's like a nice transition from dark down here and then up to the lighter shade. Alright, so I went ahead and applied some of these e.l.f. eye tapes. I just cut one of the eye tapes in half for each eye because one strip is like huge. So you can basically get, literally it comes with, it doesn't say, but this is what they look like. And if you cut them in half, you obviously get double of what you pay for. So they last forever. I really, really like these when I'm doing like a more smoky eye. And just to give you that nice, sharp outer um, edge. Now you could just clean it up with like concealer um, or a foundation or whatever, but I just like having the guideline there. So, um, okay, so I'm going to jump back into that Dose of Colors palette and I'm going to go in with Wishy Washy, which is the middle purple shade right here. And I'm just using a Sigma E25 blender and I'm just going to start working this shadow on the outer corner of my eye and then right under that first shade right in the crease so we're just gonna get like darker and darker with the shadows so that there's a nice gradient So now I'm going to jump back into the Scarlet Dust Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Bahamas, which is this like fuchsia pink one right here, and I'm taking this on a little clean Wet n Wild brush. These Wet n Wild brushes are like my favorite um, little blenders, and they're so freaking cheap, um, but I'm going to start using this to build out the outer corner. And then also taking this even lower than the first two shades into the crease. That way when I carve my eyelid out, you can still see these shades. I don't want anything to get like 
covered up and with hooded eyes it's actually really hard to do a cut crease um, so I like to go a little bit higher than I normally would and just blend it out and I am bringing these shadows pretty far into the inner corner because I am going to be cutting the crease along here so I want these shades to show so I'm bringing it in here like to where my eyebrow is and then going this way all right so then I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush I first used and that shade Lotus that little uh, little <laughs> that baby pink shade right here and I'm just gonna take this and run it along the, the ledges God I cannot talk today I'm gonna run it a I almost said a wrong along the edges just to make sure we didn't lose that color and to really just make sure the edges are nice and blended and like really really um, like airbrush looking so there's not any harsh lines everything just flows really nicely all right so then taking this little brush right here this is kind of like the Sigma E25 but it's a little bit smaller so it's like flat one way and then when you turn it you can really get up into your crease so I'm gonna take the shade Sangria from this palette which is this bottom one down here and same thing I'm just gonna start on the outer corner and deepen it up even more so that shade wasn't as deep as I thought it was, so I'm actually going to go in with Nocturnal, which is this deep purple up here. It's more of like a purpley kind of brown shade. Alright, and then before I go ahead and cut the crease, I'm going to jump back in to the Dose of Colors palette and I'm going to take the shade Wine Stain, which is this uh, more cool toned deep purple shade right here. And I'm using a more dense brush and I'm leaving this color right on this outer corner and then right up against the tape, just kind of patting it in. Okay, so that shade's all blended out, so now I can go ahead and remove these eye tapes. And they're not even at all, but that's okay, I can fix it. <laughs> but see how it gives that nice, like, crisp line? It looks really nice, and if you were to do a wing liner, you have, like, the perfect guide to do it. I don't like it as sharp as it is, so I will go in and blend it out when I do my um, lower lash line. Alright, so now is the tough part. I am so scared of cutting my crease because my eyes are hooded. I've been practicing a lot lately, so hopefully this goes well. Um, I'm just going to take this little Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush. So it just looks like this. I've already used it with concealer, um, so it's like nice and flat. But you want like a nice flat brush where you can really like carve it out. Also, so this little Morphe brush I have is like this tiny itty bitty brush. Like it is so small. Um, I actually saw a, gar a girl using this to go ahead and cut the crease. I don't really like doing that. I like this more to like shape out the edge of the crease once I cut it. Um, so I'm going to go in with this Luxie brush and I just put the concealer on the back of my hand and I just coat both sides of it and then I like to start on the very inner corner of my eye. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to, like how close I'm going to be able to get, um, but I like to start right there and push into like where the inner corner of my eye is. And then I like to go up and over from there. So my natural crease, you can see where it folds right here. I'm going to go above where that actual fold is.
All right, and then once I have my crease how I like it, I do take the top part out a little bit farther. I don't know, I just like the way that looks. Um, but I'll go ahead and take my finger and just tap it along the edge just to blend it into those shadows. Like so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye really quick and I will be right back. Okay, so both eyes are carved out and I was gonna do um, that really light purple shade from the Dosa Colors palette, this one right here, but I wanted to do a little bit of shimmer, so I'm gonna take this shade from the Scarlet Dust palette. It's called Maui. It's like this really, it looks just like plain pink on camera right here, but if you like turn it, it's like a peachy, pinky, purple shade. So I'm just gonna take a little packer brush and I'm gonna take that shade and hurry up and pack it onto the concealer before it starts to dry. Now jumping back into this palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Bahamas right here and I'm going to take this shade with um, that Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to start right on the outer corner and just blend the shimmer into the mattes on the outer corner. That way there's like a nice gradient. I know I say that a lot but I like like very um, blended looks. I just feel like it looks so soft and pretty. Alright, and then the last thing I'm going to do before I jump into my face makeup is take that tiny little Morphe brush and I'm going to go into the shade Sangria, which is this bottom one down here. I'm not going to go into the deepest one. Actually, you know what? I am. I lied. I'm going to mix those two together on that tiny little detail brush. And what I'm going to do is start out here where the deep colors are and follow along where the cut crease is. So just very lightly tracing the edges. And this is where if you messed up, like you can go back in and clean it up. Okay, so I went ahead and took um, that baby pink, sh not that baby pink shade, but the light first pink shade that we used with this Morphe brush, and I ran it along these edges. I wasn't filming, I'm sorry, but I literally just went like this to make sure the edges are nice and blended out. So I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup. I'm not going to talk through it because I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long. Um, but I am going to put it in fast forward so that you can still see what products I'm using. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into the face.
Alright, so face is all finished and I forgot to film my lip, but I just used like a combination of like three different um, lips. So I'll list them um, in the description bar below. So jumping into the lower lash line, um, I'm going to start with Lotus, which is that pinky shade that we first used. And I'm just going to use this little um, BMX shader brush and I'm just going to run this under my lash line. And then going in with Bahamas and Sangria, which is this one right here and this one right here on this flat little Morphe brush. I'm first going to take Bahamas and I'm going to connect it up to the um, upper lash line and then just work it down. And then I'm just going to go back into that pinky shade Lotus on that fluffy brush and I'm going to blend all those colors out. I do kind of want the lower lash line to be pretty smoky since the eyes are, you know, very bold. So I'm just going to kind of bring it down pretty far, well, far from me, and just keep smoking it out. All right, and then last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and apply some Tarte Big Ego Mascara to my bottom lashes. I did pop on some falsies and liner um, before I did my face makeup. Alright guys, and that is it for this cut crease makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, maybe learned some tips and tricks if you do have hooded eyes like I do. Um, I love the way it turned out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!